Good afternoon. Welcome to Paul Smith's New York. And I'm Brenda and I'm here at Jim's log job this afternoon. It's a beautiful October afternoon, but I'm realizing as I just drove in that things look a lot different than when I was here before, not too long ago. Uh, if you remember, we had beautiful foliage the last time I was here, but the leaves are gone from a lot of the trees And we have a nice big pile of logs here since I was last here. Now, Jim said that the uh, trucker called yesterday and they did already take a load of logs out of here. So um, this is what's left. I don't know what he brought in today, but he thought there was a, a few loads left. We haven't been or I should say the horses and Jim haven't been coming down here every day. There's a lot of things going on at the farm. If you um, missed our last video or two, um, the, the colts were castrated, so that took um, some time away from logging. And they are doing very well right now. I just wanted to give you an update on that. But they are doing very well. So I am going to go in and see if I can find Jim. I just heard a big crash in the woods. Of course, I'll have to be careful. He is on the other side of the trail. Uh, he was down down the road last time, down the hill. He's, he's up on the other side now where it's higher and drier. And um, of course, when I go into the woods, he knows I'm coming, but he doesn't know when I'm coming, so I'll have to be careful. I know he just fell a tree, so I shouldn't have to worry about a tree falling on my head. But um, I'm gonna go find him, and we're expecting some visitors this afternoon, so we're looking forward to that. It looks like it's still a little muddy even on this trail, but at least they're not in standing water. We have had some rain recently, not a huge amount though. I don't know if you guys could see all those little uh, flies dancing in the sunlight, but, and I'm not sure what they were, if they were mosquitoes, but they were very beautiful. Ah, there they are. The horses saw me coming. Lady says, let's get this show on the road. Hi, hi guys, how are you doing? <laughs> Lady, being a little impatient. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, lady. How's it going, guys? Jim's got him hooked here to this limb. Not real sturdy, but I guess he's not expecting them to go anywhere. They're, that's because they've already got a log on here. Here he is. Hi. I heard this one come crashing down. Did you? Yep, so I knew it was safe to come in here. Ooh, this is a big one. You've been busy. There's a lot done out there on the landing. Yep. One load's out of there. Hopefully the truck will get here soon and get some more out of there. Out of there. Yeah, that's what I told everybody. I know that they took a load already. So how's it going today? Good. Lady looks impatient. <laughs> yeah. So I just was out there with the logs and I realized I got pitch all over my butt ski. Well, that's what you get for loafing and sitting down on the job. I know. I just got here. I've been busy this morning, so don't give me any grief. Alrighty. 
I didn't even, I even brought my lunch in the car so that I wouldn't waste time sitting down eating at home. Good, good. Yeah. Well, I have a hitch ready to go out, so I'm gonna take that out. Ooh. And, uh, but I will explain right here how I'm planning on getting this big butt log out of here. We have a huge hole right behind us. I, I, I say hope huge, you can see it because it is a big dip. I wish you were here a few minutes ago because I had to back the horses into here and I almost built the cart over empty just back in because I had one. The tree that they've got was right back there. Oh, yeah. And so I had to get that out before I could put this one down. And uh, so now I can't just pull ahead because it's going to hit that stump. Even with a cradle hitch, it's a pretty good chance it would. Uh -huh. So I think what I'm going to do is actually hitch on over there with a long chain and just roll it and stop it right there. Uh huh. And then I will hitch on differently after Maybe that. if I put the camera down here in the dip, then people can see how high yeah. up it is. Yeah. Um, and I'll tell you, these, it's a tricky moving through here. I've tripped on this like two times already. Roots, there's roots everywhere and all kinds of jazz. All right, I'm heading out. Okay, we'll follow you out. I don't know what Brenda's told you, but it's been a little while since she showed what we've been doing up here in the last video, I believe, was from down in the hole. And we were hoping to get moved, and sure enough, we did. That's why we're here up in this higher, drier section of the lot. I did tell him that. It does look plenty wet still up here, even. You know, the trail. Careful step. Yeah. Nice step. Careful. So we brought that log out and we're back in with this big beauty. Jim's getting the chain on here and ready to, getting ready to bring it down with the horses.
So what I'm going to do is put a, a rolling hitch on here. By that I just mean the chain is going to be low down here. So when we pull, it's going to roll that log. And I'm going to go right through there. But you got to back them in that. I'll back them in ways. I've got another chain if I need it. It is a pretty long chain. Step back. Cap step. Cap step. Cap step. Ha ha. Oh, ma. 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 Ha 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 ha. Oh, G. G over there. G. G. Oh. How about? Oh. That's good. Ho. Oh. Oh. No. No. Ho. Oh. Oh. Ho. Oh. Ho. Just a little bit. G. Oh. Ho. Oh. A little bit. G. Oh. G over more. G, 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 G. Oh! No. Okay, what I'm going to do is actually pull it head always further so I can actually get chains on there better. Back up here. Back up here. Oh! Oh! Oh, G, G, G. Tackle. Oh! Oh! Bye! Bye! No. 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 When horses pull fairly heavy kind of things like that, that just will nerve up most any horses a little bit. And so they will actually be raring to go so they don't always stand the best at this moment in time. But I'm gonna put on the cradle hitch Oh. Ladies pawn. This is the same hitch I used on one of my last videos. <clears throat> if you missed that, you could go back and I explained it out. <clears throat> this log almost looks bigger, bigger than that log. <clears throat> but you don't have to pull it uphill, you gotta pull it downhill, which is good. There's a big gap there, but can't find the chain. What do you think? Does it compare to the last one? I'll tell you in a few minutes. See how it goes. I hear people coming. Oh, lady. Ho. 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 Do you have a little bit? Ho. Oh. Yikes. Step off. Step off. Cheek. Oh. 
Hi. Nobody but a logger could have found me up here. Hi. So we have some special visitors here today. We have Jim's brother, Sonny, and his wife, Lindella, Lindell, right here, and Tisha, and her mom, and Ben, and ben Tisha's son, right? Yes. Yeah. And um, Beth lives around here, right? Is Chris, I mean, oh, I'm great with names. So anyways, Sonny is here from Vermont, and he is a um, equipment operator. What do you do, Sonny? Well, I'm excavating. I've got many excavators. Yeah. And he's, um, he and Lindell are renovating a, an old church building. Talk about a job. Wow, it's beautiful, though. 1847. Yeah. 68. 68. That's in, um, 38. 38. 38. That is in Andover, Vermont, a little town. It's beautiful. Just discussing that Sonny and Jim did log together oh. years ago. So did you do the equipment while he did the <laughs> some? But I, I did. I did work with him with his horses, and I think he, I think oh, he really. helped me a little bit with the skitter a couple times. But but that was a long time ago. Oh my goodness, Jim used a skitter. I didn't know that. Well, I don't think he used a skitter, but I think he helped me. Oh, he helped. He like um, chopped or something. No. Well, I don't. I helped him with the horses. I remember. Yeah, you did that. I did help him with the horses up on Marsh Hill. Over at uh, uh, Amstens. Maybe at Amstens. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Nice step. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like it's like we have lifetimes within lifetimes sometimes. This is going a lot easier than when he had to pull it uphill, so that's good. Hey. Let me boy Pete's here, sign. 375. Right around there. Probably 360. It's like, well, it's 20, 25 inches. Actually, maybe more than that because I think at 22 um, inches it was like a few weeks, three, but only at like 40, two or three, three days 50. a week, really, with all the other stuff he has going on. And they just took a load out. So, wow. so I was That's impressed when I came lot. back because I was here at the beginning and <laughs> what? Amazing! <laughs> yeah, it's amazing what they can do. My goodness! Last day we're here, we got 3,500 out. Can you believe how strong they are to pull this thing? That Big is slot. mind blowing. Yeah. And yeah. they had nothing to them. They just can't go very far. They got to stop and rest, you know. But, it's amazing yeah. things. What's that thing way roughly? I don't know. Pick it up and tell me. <laughs> Cast it. Wow, huh? Yeah, they do well. And lady's pregnant. So. <laughs> yep. Oh. I hope you guys don't have your good shoes on. That's so grammy. That's good. How awesome is that? Sonny brought this up for Jim. It's, fr it, it's from Jim's cousin, John Franklin. Yes. And he made that for him. That is really cool. John, I knew you were pretty talented, but this is great. Thanks very much. This is beyond talented. That's beautiful. Nice. Really nice. We'll have to find a place to put that for yes. sure. So we are on our way back in. We just had a lovely visit with our um, Jim's brother and his wife. So we're going to go back in and get another hit, another uh, log from that tree. And I think he's going to call it a day after that because he's got to get home and we got to see how the folks are doing.
I'm gonna kick that stick out of the way. So we had a lovely visit huh. with Jim's huh. brother and step on, step on. wife and, step on, step on. and their friends. And oh. Bye. the horses had a nice little break Bye. as we chatted. G and G G we are back G in G to get G G the last G log on this G tree G G G G oh. Bye. before Jim heads home. He needs to check on the colts and potentially ice them down after their surgery yesterday. That is quite a thing right there. I hope you guys could all see the way they backed up into that little, Ooh. up that ditch. Step up, step up, ha, step up, ha, ha. Oh, my. Oh. Still pretty big here. Yeah. Is your mic still on? I think so. Okay. I just. Oh. Never mind. Up here. Do they ever pinch your arms like that? In between there like that? I know you can't talk right now. He can't say anything because... Oh, oh, oh. I gotta cut this tree. Okay. I gotta shut my mic off.
I, I have something to talk about or ask you about. Okay. While you're doing that, she, especially it was Lady's fault. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. They did that about eight times. How are you sure they weren't going to be able to pull that and you're standing on top of it the whole way? I don't expect you to pull it the whole thing right now anyway. I know, but um, I've never seen him try to pull a log so many times when you didn't tell him to. Lady's being like super impatient. And it's super dangerous. I wish they could pull that whole thing out, but I'm quite sure they can't. But have you ever been on a log cutting away like that and they did start moving it? Maybe. Maybe. See, the more that I come and watch him, the more nervous I start getting. I'm hand it my saw. <coughs> I just hit a piece of wire <coughs> with the saw. You mean like there was a fence in here at some point? It was... I'm not sure where it came from. No, we're not at the fence. Why else would there be wire? It's old, old, old wire. It almost seemed like it was in the tree. But we're all done for day. I just want to make this one more cut and then we'll be, we'll be done. If I can. Anyhow, this is a very extremely dangerous occupation. Out of gas, just my luck. Anybody know that song? I thought it was dying because we were like right in the middle of a whole bunch of knots right there. That was not it. No pun intended.
That was a little wild ride there for a little while, wasn't it? All so on I don't think I should come watch you anymore. The body cues that tell you it's time to stop. Them. What are you watching for when you know it's time for them to stop? Good question. Slight hesitations. I don't know. Oh, he said, I thought he did. Slight hesitations, he said. And then when she starts pawing, it's time to go again. If you didn't hear him, he said he's going to scale these two up and then call it quits. Okay. So these are both 15 foot logs. And the second log in the tree. And you take the small end, right? Yep. It is 540 feet, 500 here. So we'll call that 500 board feet there. And this one here, it's interesting, it's a, no, it's 540, 540. So there's 1,040 in those two. Sweet! And then there's still two or three more logs still left in that tree that I'll get tomorrow. Wow. So that's more than you, um, you and Sonny were guessing. Yes, it is, because we were guessing like... In a 300 the, something. 375s, upper 300s, and actually five, five. 40. I'm going to have to text my brother and tell him we were both wrong. Uh -oh. In a good way. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll be in here with my blacks. And I don't know if we'll do a video on that. But we will start doing videos on my, my Pertrons as I'm logging with them. And there's just so much stuff I'd like to share with you. About how I go about doing some of this stuff. Um, afternoons are not always the best for me to to do a lot of talking. I usually can talk better in the mornings. Brenda can talk all day long, but I, <laughs> I'm just more of a morning person. So maybe next time we can have a morning video and I can talk and tell you more about what we're doing. Yeah. Until then.
Have a great day. See ya. Thanks for coming along.